Hello friends, today we will be discussing how to disable auto scaling configuration. Suppose we have auto scaling in place and we have one instance behind that auto scaling and customer requirement is to restart that server. So if we restart that server which is in, in auto scaling group, then what happens is auto scaling health check will get failed and it will provision a new instance because it will see that the instance is not healthy it will terminate that instance and will create a new instance however the requirement of the customer is that the new instance should not be created and we should be getting the old instance only this usually comes with a patching also suppose we uh, have a monthly patching cycle and the servers are being behind the auto scaling group and if we do a restart of the server the server will be gone it will be terminated because the auto scaling health check will come into the picture and it will terminate this so today we will be discussing how to disable the auto scaling configuration so that we can stop the servers or restart the servers so that it will not be terminated so i will be going up to the auto scaling groups so here we have two auto scaling groups right now uh, one is having two instance the other is having one instance so right now i will be taking care the second one with the name test so i will select this test auto scaling group in the details tab i will go to the edit button then we'll put a minimum as a zero so minimum is basically the number of instance in the auto scaling should have any time so if you put zero so it will not see uh, it will not provision a new instance because the minimum is zero right now and we go down and there is a segment which is called a suspend process here we will suspend the health check and the termination so that the health check process will be suspended for the auto scaling and it will not terminate any of the instances we will save it So now here we can see the minimum has changed to zero. Let's go to the instances. We'll select this instance and we'll in the action items we'll put this system into a standby mode. So this has gone to the standby mode. I will open the instances in the other tab. So the instance ID here is 726F ending with. So this is my instance. I will just stop it. So we can see here auto scaling will not terminate this instance and will not be creating a new instance. So our requirement of rebooting or putting the system down will be fulfilled. So this way we can achieve to disable the auto scaling system. So let's see if it's properly stopped and no new instances have been provisioned. So till now we are good. So once you are done with your requirement of stopping and you want to put the system up, just go to the instance state, start it, start the server. Once this is started, it's running now. So we'll go to the auto scaling again on the instances. We'll put this instance into in service so that auto scaling will start picking this instance as in service so the status is in service and we'll go to the details and we'll click on the edit since the minimum was one earlier we will put minimum as one and we'll remove the suspend process so this way we have achieved our target so now there is a other scenario also when we have two instances in different AZs so 
if I see this instance is in US East to A and the other instance is US East to B. So there is a process called as AZ rebalancing which comes into the picture if we put single instance into standby so it will provision it will do a auto rebalancing of the availability zones so for this scenarios we will follow the same thing we will go to the edit we will put this as zero in the suspend process we will select health check we will select the easy rebalance here it's the option coming up and the terminate so three options will be selected in this case if we have instances in different availability zones so we'll save it then we'll go into the instance we'll do a set to standby select this one also set to standby so both the instances will be in standby mode now I can restart Remove it. Remove this one also. So this way we will be achieving our target. Once the server is up, we need to put it back into in service and remove the suspend process. Put the minimum as it was earlier in our case it will be 2 because we have 2 instances so the minimum will be 2 we will be confident now so let's do it set to in service it's happening the life cycle is pending let me refresh it so it's in service I will put the second instance into the in service mode Still pending. Okay, it's in service mode. We'll go to the edit, keep minimum as two, we'll remove the health suspend process and save it. Thanks for watching this video in case if you have any doubts or you want to get some clarification regarding the auto rebalance auto scaling and its rebalancing and how to troubleshoot your issues you can put your comments below thanks